Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's tutorials. In the last few videos, we have discussed what is a data type, what is the purpose of data type, what are the different data types are there such as primitive data types, user defined data types, derived data types. And then we have discussed about the primitive data types such as int, float, char, void in detail. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch that videos. In this video, I want to discuss few interesting concepts related to the data types. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me read what is the program I have written. Then I will discuss the concepts related to that one. I have written a statement called hash include stdiver.h, which is a header file of standard input and output. And you have the main function, which is returning the integer value. So that's why I have written a statement called written 0 you have taken a char okay and num the char is a data type and num and you are assigning a value to 127 maybe some people will think that this is a wrong this is a right statement because some people may thinking that sir you said that for a character we have single character constants and string constants when you said about the single character constant you said that it should be enclosed within the single quotation and it should be a character but you have initialized a, an integer here well, how it is correct it is correct you don't worry okay and you have written a statement called num is equal to num plus one print of percentage d num and again there will be a confusion lot of students will say that sir this program will not run it will give an errors why they will say sir in the last video itself you said that character you should use percentage c if it is an unsigned you should use capital c if it is a signed you said percentage small c and even you said if you simply say char it will be a signed char but why you are using an integer constant here means percentage d then it is a wrong but it is not a wrong i will discuss why it is not gives an error for you okay so now let me discuss few concepts related to this program and then I will discuss what is this program will give you the output for you okay now first let me discuss few things regarding the character now the char will store the character constants you are writing suppose let char ch now ch is the variable and char is the data type and if you are writing equal to small a then what is the meaning you are initializing the char ch variable with a value a now if you are printing print of percentage c ch what is the output it will display you can simply say that sir it will display the a character a if i write print of percentage d ch then lot of people will think that as a beginners they will think that it will give an error because it is a character you are writing a format specific percentage d you did the mistake you should overwrite with this c then only the output will come no it will give you the output it will not give any errors and what is the output it will give also i will discuss before discussing what is the output it will give let me discuss one interesting thing for you you are using several apps to send a message to you let's take that you are using a whatsapp and you are sending to your friend hi how are you okay now you know that computer can understand only ones and zeros am i right but you are writing in english but how your mobile phone or your computer is able to understand it and sending to your friend now even you are writing a character it will convert this one to a decimal number how it will convert a decimal number is that we have a, a standard called ASCII. A stands for America Standard Code Information Interchange. This is the ASCII format. This ASCII format, we have the letters such as capital A to capital Z, small a to small z. It has the equivalent ASCII values for it. Means that ASCII values means if it is a capital A, you have 65. Capital B, the ASCII value will be 66. Capital C, the ASCII value will be 67. If it is a small a, it will be 97. Small b, it will be 98. Small c, it will be 99. Like that, you have the ASCII values. This ASCII values is nothing but the 
decimal number. Okay, are you able to understand? If this is a decimal number, you know how to convert a decimal number to binary number. Am I right or wrong? So, if you convert this into a binary number, you will get the binary number as in the ones and zeros. So, that is the what the computer will store it actually. Are you able to understand? Store it and send to your friend. So, now let me discuss this one. You said that if it is a percentage D C H, you said that how the memory will store means as it is a character, one byte of memory will be allocated and the name of this memory location will be ch because the name of the variable is ch and it will store even if you are writing a in the memory it will store its ascii value in the binary format okay what is this ascii value 97 and it will convert into binary number and it will store is it clear how, how many bits it will store 8 bits because it is in one byte information okay is it clear now, if you are writing percentage D, C, H, what is percentage D? You want to print whatever the value here it is there. You want to print it as an integer constant. So, even you are storing it as a, a it will print the its ASCII value 97. So, what I want to tell you the point is that even if you are storing it as a character, if you want to print it as an integer, then it will print the ASCII value of the corresponding character. If you, are, you want to print it as a character, it will print the character. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? So, this will not give any error for you. It will give some output. Okay. So, I hope you have understood this point. Now, let me continue with the program what we have written. Now, lot of students will ask me this doubt. Sir, you have written car. Is it okay? Now, if you simply write char, you know that it is a signed char by default. Am I right or wrong? What is the meaning of the signed char? It can store both negative numbers and the positive numbers. And you know what is the range also. What is the range? As it is a 8 bits because a char will occupy 1 byte of information and even you said that formula is minus 2 to the power n minus 1 to 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 where n is the number of bits okay as it is a 8 bits i can substitute it as 2 power 8 minus 1 to 2 to the power 8 minus 1 minus 1 and which is minus 128 to 127 Am I right or wrong? Okay. This is the range the sign car will store the information. It is okay. Now, car num 127. So, in the memory location, okay, some memory location, let us take the 1000 memory location, okay, a car value 127 with the name of that variable is num is stored. Okay. Now, we have written a statement called num is equal to num plus 1. This is an assignment statement here. Num is equal to num plus 1. In a, if you are writing in a mathematics, you all think that it is an LHS and it is RHS. You are checking LHS is equal to RHS. But in a C program or any programming language, num is equal to num plus 1 means first it will perform num plus 1. What is the num value? 127. 127 plus 1, 128 will be stored here in the num means you are performing num plus 1 and whatever the result you are storing it in the num. So, 127 plus 1, 128. Now, you can ask me one thing. Print of percentage D num, it will print 128 or what value it will print. Now, first remember one point. As it is a char, it will have 8 bits of information and that too it is a signed char. If it is a signed char, maximum number you can store 127. How you can store 128 here? That is not possible. Am I right or wrong? I hope you have understood the point. Because as it is a signed care, the maximum positive value you can store it as 127. But here you are storing 128. Will it store 128 or not? That we will discuss now. Is it clear? Please remember this one. Then you will understand. How the numbers will be stored is that, okay, you will have the circle. You have... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
so on up to 127 okay and then here you will have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so on up to minus 128 okay like that the numbers will be represented in a cycle is it clear now remember one thing you are writing 127 127 plus 1 which is nothing but what 127 plus 1 which will go to the next one because you are writing 0 1 2 3 so on 127 then you are adding a plus to it so its value will be 127 plus 1 it will be minus 128 if you are writing percentage d because you want to print it as a an integer and if you are printing num it will print minus 128 why it is that even if you are performing 127 plus 1 it will store minus 128 and that value it will be printed is it clear what i want to tell the point is that if you are storing the information like this if you are because it can store plus 127 if you add one it will be minus 128 if you add another one it will be minus 127 if you add another one it will be minus 126 because it will go in a cycle are you able to understand it or not this circle you will go for zero if you add one it will be one for one you will add two it will be plus 127 if you add one it will be minus 128 plus 127 if you add another one means two if you add it will be minus 127 okay are you able to understand it or not so this is the way the numbers will be storing now let me discuss another thing for you okay suppose let's take that you are storing it as a signed int okay signed int a is equal to some hundred you are storing okay is it clear then it will print the hundred value if you are writing unsigned int a is equal to hundred then also it will print the hundred is it clear because this hundred is there within the range of signed int and also in the unsigned int okay but in the unsigned int if you are initializing minus 100 what will happen that is what the people will have the doubt then lot of people will think this is equal let me erase okay lot of people will directly say that sir you said unsigned int then it will only store the positive values if you initialize a negative number it will give an error for you no it will not give an error for you why it is so because unsigned int will have the values from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on up to what? What is the range of unsigned int? Let's take that you are using a 16-bit compiler. If you are using a 16-bit compiler, it is 2 bytes. Okay, are you able to understand? If it is a 2 bytes, it will be 16 bits. You only said that if it is a unsigned it will be in the range of 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. So, which is nothing but 0 to 2 power 16 minus 1. 2 power 16 value will be something 65,536 something. Exactly, I could not able to remember. 65,536. If you subtract 1, it will be 65,535. So, it will be there 65,535. Are you able to understand it or not? So, you have written 0, 1, 2, 3, so on like this. Now, you have written 65,000 minus 535. Then, if you are writing minus 100, you will get the value here because after 65,535, if you are writing any value, then it will go here plus 1, plus 2 like that. It will go minus 100, some positive value it will give for you. Okay. I hope you are understanding. It will not give an error. It will go to the cycle. If you are simply writing it as, suppose let's take that. I want to tell you one more thing also. 65,536 you have written here. Okay. You know that 65,535 is the maximum number. If you are initializing 
then 65,000 plus 1 is the 65,536. So it will store the value 0. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? So this is the way the data types will work. And one more important point. Sir, you are saying that if you are using a 16-bit compiler, 2 bytes will be there. If it is a 32-bit compiler, 4 bytes will be there. How I should know whether my compiler is occupying 2 bytes of memory or allocating 2 bytes of memory for the int or 4 bytes. You can simply write size of function and you can write int. Okay, so what is that one is that I will let me write the complete statement print of percentage d size of int. If you write like this, it will display the value. If it is displaying the value 32, then you can say that it is occupying 32 bytes of sorry, 32 bits of information for that one. Okay, but usually it will give in terms of bytes only. Okay, are you able to understand it or not? So it will give you the output in the bytes. So based on that one, you can understand whether your computer is allocating 2 bytes or 4 bytes. So you can use it. the size of function is an inbuilt function. It will give you how much memory will be required for allocating the memory for this data type. So this is what about the data types. So I have discussed enough about the data types. If you still have any doubts related to the data types, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.